Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we actually completed a lot of errands around uh, Kakariko Village, we also did some stuff around the Korok Forest, and we also went to Hotno Village to get some things out of the way, including fully upgrading our Sheikah Slate. In this episode, we're actually going to be going off in search of a couple of things. Uh, one of those things is actually in search of a memory that um, one of the uh, people in Kakariko Village was actually able to tell us where it might be located at. They said it was at the base of Mount Lanayru. So I think we're about there. Um, and we're actually looking for an archway. So hopefully that should be pretty easy to find. And I think that we're actually going to be continuing up the mountain. So I recommend if you're able to, to skip as much down there if you can. I mean, if you feel up to it, or if you don't want to fight enemies. Um, if you're like, nah, I don't really want to fight some bad guys, like, I recommend just coming up here and taking this route. Uh, from here on out, it's pretty enemy-free, though. I'm trying to save a little bit of time for you guys. Don't be mad. Alright. And here we go. It looks like we have yet another memory location. Keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? So you didn't feel anything? No power at all. I'm sorry. No. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... Well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think, when I think about. Let's stop wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champion, to your divine beasts. Show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get the Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must. There must be something I can do to help.
So with that, we learn even on the, or even in the final moments when Ganon was starting to come to power, even Princess Zelda wasn't up to her full potential that she could be even at that moment. It's actually kind of sad when you think about it. Also, that's not something I would like to see right now. Well, look how suspicious he is. Okay, that's enough fun for one day. <laughs> he was like, gonna notice me. Like, he was so close to noticing me. Okay. So, what the guy didn't say uh, before in the last episode is that what we're really looking for... I'm actually gonna climb up here a little bit just to help get us a bit more of a vantage. Uh, what he didn't mention is that that, that spring... Should be behind. Should be behind the three trees. So I'm gonna use this to fly over and hopefully not be seen by the Lionel, because that would be nice to not get dunked. Oh, just flew over a sleeping giant thing. That's fun. And as you can see, as we enter this area, our temperature drops pretty quickly, actually. So you're gonna want probably some of the. Uh, you're probably going to want some of the gear from... Why can't I think of what it's called? Rito Village before you head up here. And as you can see, as soon as we enter the L Laneru Mountain area, uh, we uh, start to enter in a snowstorm, making visibility almost nothing. So we do have... a little bit of a mission up here, because we need to go see the spring, because it's a shrine. We're actually going to spend probably the next few episodes looking for shrines. And I do apologize if that's not stuff you want to see. You want to see more story stuff. But we're going to get more story stuff if we get more shrines. It's about the only way I can put it. Um, yeah, let's just keep heading on up. We've got lots of stamina, which is really nice. The first time that I ever did this was on my personal playthrough before um, I had to get a new Switch. And I only had like the, the full stamina with like the one-fifth. So this was actually a little bit difficult for me, but it looks like we're actually making some great pace right here. You do want to be careful. There are going to be... I don't need a bomb arrow. I think so. Oh! Oh my god, I'm being murdered. Okay, so yeah, when they explode, they apparently freeze you. That's good to know. That is very good to know. Now, I'm going to take the perceived short way. What's really nice, though, is that this isn't slippery or anything when it's snowing. So that's really nice, actually. Let me just rest there for a moment. Just jump up here as fast as we can. There we go. Looks like we're getting closer and closer to the top, which is about the right idea. I'm actually going to go up here because it's um if i remember it's actually super easy to miss where we're going Ooh, the music changed i think we're in the right spot maybe do you see anything weird here about this Let's just uh, beat this guy up real quick. I like how he was just so cold, he was white. Yeah, I don't have a lot of arrows. It might be time to whip out the amiibos. But anyway, uh, we do want to follow these stairs back up to the awesome sounding music. It might be time to crack out the amiibos. Oh, look, it's a baby stone talus. Oh, this music just gets more and more mysterious as we go, which is fine. Oh, I hate these guys so much. They're so annoying, could you not?
I was done with that weapon. Okay, well... Come on, lock on to him. Ow. Oh, thank you, Zmufa. Best way to actually break someone's shield guard like theirs is to just do that jump attack. It's really nice, actually. Hook boomerang. Nice, I'll take that. So let's keep on heading up here. Seems like it's actually going to be a super long trek. Especially with these dudes every ten... Oh my god, would you not? Here, let's see if I can make you ragdoll off the edge. You're gone. Thank you. I'm going to just toss that because I don't need it. Your night's halberd broke! Oh no! Okay, I think we're getting close to where we need to be, but one moment, I'm being buzzed. That was actually my wife giving me a call to update me on a thing. There are lots of enemies here. Why are there so many enemies? Okay, okay then. Apparently they hurt their allies, though, so I'm okay with that. Now, what I actually uh, just thought of what, that I really like is the fact that it uses Mifa's Grafes before it uses um, before it uses any fairies, because Mifa's Grafes is renewable. The fairies aren't so much. A Knight's Claymore, I'll take it! I know what those are good for. Eh, he's gonna fall off. Okay... Looks like we're still heading up here. I do want to break this, though, if I can. Actually, best item for this is literally a Knight's Claymore. Like, I couldn't have gotten more lucky with that drop. Uh, let's keep just going, then. Looks like we have lots of enemies to fight on this mountain. I kind of wish we had some archers to fight, though, because I would, could really use some arrows. That looks like we got some more ice dudes. Hello, ice dudes. No, 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 no. I want these drops because these drops are actually a little bit hard to get. Um, enjoy your lightning arrow. Especially since I think it's three of them. Lizzle shield, which I can't pick up. Hey, how's it going? You like sledgehammers? I like sledgehammers. Whee! Kind of took him a while to die. Like, if I got hit a couple times with a sledgehammer, I would die. Okay, let's just keep going. Gotta be close to the top. Like, you can see how the road doubles over. Like, if we had just climbed up, we could have avoided a lot of this fighting. But that's fine. I, it means we get to spend more time with the music. Which I'm okay with. This music's not bad. I think there's gonna be less and less dudes to fight up here, though, as we go. Which is okay with me. You have done well to find your way to the spring. You have overcome numerous trials and obtained the spirit orbs. And one you see before you is intendant of the spring of wisdom. This is Nadra, the blue spirit in Laneru. The servant of the goddess was looked over the spirits uh, or has looked over the spirits of this land for ages, unknown to the world of man. However, the dreaded malice unleashed by calamity again has possessed its body and reduced it to this state. You who have received the spirit orbs, free Nadra from this malice. Show what power you can achieve. Alright, so before I do this, because I'm totally ready to do it, um, I would like to... No, I know how to use buttons. I would like to... I'd like to do some things to give myself some stuff. 
Oh, it's telling me how to use it. That's right. I like, did it register? So I'm going to tell you which ones I'm using. If you guys are curious. So this is the Guardian. This is the Rider. This is the Archer. And honestly, I can't find any... I can't find my other... Oh, wait, I have a Bokoblin. Uh, I should do him next. But um, I lost one of my Amiibos behind my cabinet. So I'm going to have to fish him out because I knocked him down the other day. Wait, where'd the other ones go? There was other ones. Rude? My inventory's full. Yeah, that's rude. Okay, the Coblin. Away. Okay, it just drops a bunch of meat in another chest. I wonder because I didn't uh, get the Guardian ones if I can just get them back. Yeah, I don't need you either. Hold on, I'm gonna try this real quick. Can I have my stuff? This Amiibo can't be used again. You know what? Okay, so everyone beware. You might just get screwed. Okay. So, welcome to the Spring of Wisdom. Uh, let's see. i got to pull out a bow here. Let's switch over to regular arrows. What we need to do is destroy these eyeballs, as you do. So, as soon as you break the first one, he's going to start flying away. Which is fine. What we gotta make sure you do is get caught up by one of these updrafts. Oh, that's right. This is, like, really awkward. If I remember right, this is, like... It's not super hard, but it's awkward. Yeah, like that. Okay, I've only got 25 arrows. Got to be really sparing here. So he should come back around, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get to some higher ground just to make this a little bit easier. I don't know which one's higher. I want to say this one is. I want to get this done before we end off the episode. That way you guys can see the end of this before the end of the episode. So just wait for that to fly by. It's two. Then I think we actually have to wait for him to get lower than us to get to the other one. Could alternatively. You know what we could do? What we haven't done yet. Dang it, I'm wasting all my stuff. Um We could use this ability! Yeah. So he will fly down into the lower parts of the mountain. Which make him a little bit of a pain, but we do have these updrafts to help us. So I'm going to try to get into a position to shoot some of the stuff on top of him. As you can see, though, it's taking me quite a while to travel this far. Okay. Oh, wait, that absolutely restored my... Okay. Take it. Okay, there we go. We got that one. Pull out our paraglider yet again. Hopefully... No, don't fly away from us. Come on. Take it like a man. I'm just floating down. Why is the wind pushing me back? Where's my where are my updrafts? Hello?
Do you have to wait for them to pass over to create an over up updraft? I don't think so. Hold on, I gotta find an updraft apparently because I'm not seeing one. I actually don't even know where that dragon just went. Okay. I can see a smoke trail. Where is he? Oh, he's all the way down there. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect him to be all the way down here. Jeez Louise. Okay, that, I'm like, that's where the updrafts went. Okay, so let's try this again. Looks like he should be passing, like, right underneath us. So... See, the part that sucks is trying to gauge, like, where he's gonna go and trying to intercept him at that point. So I'm gonna just come straight this way. It looks like he's gonna come over here. He is. Okay, perfect. Okay. What happens if I... Oh! D don't land on them. That's bad. Ah! Excuse you, sir. Oh man, if you need some wood though, have I got the place for you, apparently. I think we got him. Yeah, looks like we saved him. Nice. Sorry if I was getting a little bit quiet there, but I was trying to concentrate, because that part's not easy, and I didn't have very many arrows anyway. And there we go, he broke the facade that was imprisoning him. Thanks to your efforts, Nadra, the spirit of Mount Laneru, has been freed from the grips of an evil power. But a single ceremony remains. Now, loose your arrow through the body of L L uh, Nadra to free the spirit of this region. So what it's saying is true, if I remember right. We shoot an arrow into it. Like, did that land at my feet? It did. This is uh, Spirit or Nature's scale. It fell when your arrow struck. The service is proof of the courage you received from the one who served the spirit since ancient times. Come, offer a scale from Blue Spirit Nadra to the spirit of or Spring of Wisdom. And if we pray, the Blue Spirit Nadra is released. You must now offer Nadra scale to the spring here. I'm wondering. Really scale. Okay, so Nadra scale. Is it considered a material? Hold. Um, hold on. I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Oh wait, I think I remember. There we go. Drop into the water. And all of that was essentially for a shrine. <laughs> uh, your path has shown itself. Now go forth. And the scale is gone. We can't pick it back up. Let's go ahead, head into the shrine, and I'm pretty sure we just get a blessing, which we better after all that work. <laughs> Uh, 
And yes, indeed, we do get another blessing. And we get the Frost Spear, which our inventory is full. You know what? Actually, do I have a weapon that's weaker? You mean like this Korok Leaf? Hoth that one? Do you mean like this Korok Leaf that you should have dropped a while ago? Yeah, I mean like that. Leave me alone. There we go. Now we have a Frost Spear in our possession. And with that, let's go ahead and get our Spirit Orb. I know this episode was basically just kind of uh, dedicated to the Laneru Mountain, but that's fine. Uh, the area is pretty big. It takes a long time to get through it, and kind of fighting the possessed dragon takes a little bit of time, and yeah, it's not easy, I would say, either, because it does move around, and I wasn't prepared for going to different places, and that apparently getting rid of my updrafts. Well, either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you did, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Either way, my name has been Thawin, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!